television dude here with a pickups video. Let's get this over with quick because I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'll show the two gaming related items first. The one and only game that I bought was called Shadow of the Beast for the Genesis. It was only $1.95, so I said, what the heck? Let's give it a go. And in the free box outside, we got Cheat Code Explosion for handhelds, two books in one. It's got DS, PSP, Game Boy Advance, and on this side it's got PS3, Wii, and Xbox 360. Well, I well I do own the uh, DS and the Game Boy Advance, but I don't own the other three. Still pretty cool anyway. Uh, I'll show the free stuff first. Uh, this is kind of weird. It's called World World Trade Center and 9/11. And, like, uh, towards the beginning, I don't know what this book is about, but it does have, uh, almost like some blueprints of things. I don't know if it's blueprints of the actual building or, or what, maybe. It's pretty weird, and it's got some story stuff in here, too. The investigation... got some pictures can't go wrong with free here's a book I may never read but I thought maybe why not I know he's a funny dude and it's Bill Cosby fatherhood hopefully it's funny because that's one of the reason why I picked it up it was free so and uh, something I had when I was a kid not this book in particular but when I was a kid I had a Richard scary book and j just for nostalgia's sake, I picked it up because it was free. Thought I'd take a look at it. It might be similar to the one I had when I was younger. Maybe not. And if I get bored of it, I'll give it to my friend because he has a kid. So. Now on to the other stuff. I believe it's all CDs and one DVD. DVD is Kane and See No Evil. Actually, this didn't come from the bookstore, this came from a friend. We got, uh, Temple of the Dog. I believe that's like, uh, what was it? Pearl, the lead singer Pearl Jam and maybe Soundgarden maybe, I can't remember. I don't remember who else was in the band. Don't know if it says in here. My friend knows, because he has this album. Uh, well, it says... It mentions Soundgarden. So, yeah, I don't know. Other people know, and I don't know. It was like a super group of the time. And they did one album together. Guar! I've never owned a Guar CD before. It's called Scumbags of the Universe. I know, uh, like, uh, Beavis and Budhead think Guar rules, so let's try out a Guar CD from 1990. Oh, and I got comics, too. I didn't mention I have comics. We got Tool. This looks wicked. This looks like a, a schematics board. Let's see if I can get the light to show. And if you open it up, it looks wicked. All CDs were in the scratch section. Uh, two Towers soundtrack. Lord of the Rings Two Towers soundtrack. Now I got. Now I got to get the other two. This looks wicked. Just looks cool. I love the movies. So this is a nice companion set to my DVDs. Now, if, now if I can only get the other two at a same price. Radiohead OK Computer. I, I, I'm i still kind of new into the Radiohead. I knew a couple of their songs and that was it. But I, I kind of think that this was the one people said was the CD. So. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell this was. It was called Nine Inch Nails Closer. 
um, it, it's got a bunch of different versions of the song Closer. Plus something called Hershey, Blind, and March of the F-Heads. I'll keep it clean, but you know what I meant to say there. A Nine Inch Nails single. It's a single of the the song Sin. Sin short, sin long, sin dub, and it looks like maybe a B-side called Get Down Make Love. It's only 92 cents, so what the heck. Uh, don't laugh at me for this one, but my sister loves Mary-Kate Nash Olsen, so I got this for her. It's a CD. So when I see her, maybe sometime this year, I will give it to her. Looks like someone filled in this stuff already. <laughs> uh, don't laugh at me at this one either, but I kind of liked it. I, I heard one of her songs uh, on the David Letterman show. And it's called Jenny Lewis and the Watson Twins, Rabbit Fur Coat. It's kind of poppy, but it's kind of different. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But, you know, I like my rap, I like my metal, but I, sometimes I like the weird stuff. And finally, what my friend hates me for, hates me for, is a Joy Division album. Joy Division CD. He hates me because I got this and he didn't. And he got up to the CD section before me. He already went through the section that that this was in. The, the row that this was in, he was already at. And he overlooked it. And he wanted this so bad, but I also wanted this just as bad. So, I'll be nice enough and make him a copy. But he is so mad at me right now. He threatened to make me walk home. <laughs> Jokingly, of course. Well, I hope it was jokingly. Okay, that was the end of the CDs, so on to the comics. A uh, Army of Darkness vs. Reanimator, re re number three. Uh, I'm slowly getting these, because there's, there's like usually four or five per series. And, and if I just find one, I think I've only found one out of all three of the Army of Darkness series so far, I think. Because there's so many damn Army of Darkness series. I can't get them all. And I got me some pits. I got pit number 11, pit number 12, pit number 13, and pit number 14. And I think my friend said he got me, that he forgot to give me, but he picked up like numbers 8, 9, and 10 at his, at his local comic shop. So I'm getting my pit collection together. A Ghost Rider comic. Just a random one again, but it's got Violator on it, so looked cool. What the heck? Uh, yeah, it, it's hard to get into the second series of Ghost Rider because it's going to take me forever to get them all. Because there's so many I've passed up because I don't know where to start and if I want them all, and because they're already up into the hundreds, I think. It's like, geez. Max number one. I don't think I've owned this since the 90s, so. I don't even remember what it was about. Violator number one. He's a uh, character in the Spawn series. Violator number two. In something called Mile, Marvel Milestone Edition, The Avengers, the, uh, the Avengers number 16. Avengers Assemble. Spectacular issue, issue. The start of a great new Avengers lineup. I don't know if the Hulk was in this. We got Thor, Iron Man. Looks like we got this other dude. Who is he? Ant Man? Is that who the other guy is? I'm not sure. He might not be Ant Man. I don't know. I, I just said that. Don't quote me on anything. I guess this is a reprint, right? But it's all in color. Nice, glossy color, not just color. I'm assuming it's a reprint meaning a reprint of an old story and not a new story that looks like an old story. That's what I meant to say. Cool. 
Well, that's everything. So that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching.